morning. Hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Indie Friday, where today we will get to play a game that I believe somebody recommended to me literally as I was leaving the stream yesterday, uh, and I decided to check it up and then realized it was on sale. And so I picked up this alongside a bunch of other puzzle games by the same developer. So I'm excited to give it a shot, see how it is. It's called Strange Horticulture. It's about plants, things like that. Um, but I don't know anything else about it, so we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. Oh, no. Sorry, I moved something around. I just needed to make sure that I was clicking into the right spot. Okay, we're good. Let's give it a shot. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that, neighbors, so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands or, more likely, explain exchange unpleasantries. Man, I haven't woken up yet. I can't read it. I can't read it all. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. Good to know. I found it! An excerpt on the elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all that all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simone, give Helleborn a good scratch behind the ear for me. Oh, hello. There's a cat. Hello to the cat. Victoria Gray must have walked past this shop a hundred times without stopping, ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me. But nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has got the better of me. I must find out what they're saying. Oh, St. John's Poppy. Okay. What's this all about? Ooh, I've got some items. A strange book of plants. Let's take a little look. Let's go to St. John's Poppy, see what's up. The vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draft that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. Bright red with a yellow center. Okay, that feels like I can understand that. I don't know much about plants, but I know about colors, so I feel like I can do that. Okay. All right. Extra care when dealing with poisonous plants. I accept no responsibility. Yes, understandable. Not fun to have to um, deal with poisonous plants. Okay, I can put this back in here. This is just a coin? What is this? It's a fancy coin. What is this? Oh! The will to explore. What is this all about? Okay, this is just the, the place where I live. Okay, nice. Beautiful looking map. Cool, cool, cool. Into it. Oh, I have another letter. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Backbarrow. 
keep it secret. Huh. Okay. What does a closer inspection want me to do? All right. Here are my here are my plants. This is St. John's poppy, right? This has got to be it. Red with a sweet scent. That seems correct to me. That seems like the right thing. Let me look at this one more time, just to make sure I'm not giving somebody poison. Yeah, that seems right. Red with a yellow center. All right, we're good to go there. Here you go. Enjoy. Plant identified, baby. Good to go. Good to go. According to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Love Lock. Okay, nice. Learned something new. That's great. Who's next? David Chafer. Good morning. Bloody awful weather out there today. Good for the plants though, eh? Got a letter for you. I will take this. I will take a little look at this letter. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. Just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere, Amos Duncan. Okay, let me, I, I'm guessing I need to like put some notes out or something for this, you know? I feel like I gotta be taking a look at this in order to figure stuff out. Okay, there's Grasmere was the place that that person said. No, Gosforth. Gosforth? Where are you? There you are. And then you went to the something in the northeast of Gosforth? To the south of the town. On the northeast corner of the wood. Okay, so woods to the south. And then there's a northeast corner. You found something special here. Yes, the wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to be escaping to nature away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It's not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. Yes, I got something. All right, cool, I found something special. That's nice. Thank you, gold stars. All right, nice. Cool. I've done this one. This one can go away. Put it in the archive. And then what does this one give me? I want to do this too. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. Ah, uh, okay, I see. I have to, I have to water my plants. What is this also? I don't know what this does. Uh-oh, a rising dread. Okay, hmm. Can I do this? What's the situation here? Gotta make sure I'm watering my plants. I don't know if I'm doing a good job of watering. It seems like I might be doing a bad job of watering plants. What's this? Oh, it's just a, a little drawing. Okay. Nice. I'll put this in the clues section, I guess. 
I guess the letter section is where this belongs. All right. Okay. Let's do a new thing. Ah, it's Gilbert Ames! Something got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around down through Back Barrow and never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I've brought Fennet from the south to trade me for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Alright, I'll get you some lemon dandy. Oh, I'll get you some lemon dandy, don't worry. I'm ready to check it out. Okay, uh, curled leaves. Referring to a peeled lemon rind. Kind of looks like this, but I can't be sure. The flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. I see. It's curled. Okay. Is that lemon dandy? Kind of looks like that's the only thing that is a good option for me. Are you lemon dandy? Could you be lemon dandy? Kind of, I think that's it. It's a good drawing. Did I do it right? I did it right. We're all good. Fantastic. I got a new plant too. I love that. All right. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Come to the library in Ambleside. All right, let's go. Let's go to the Ambleside Library. Where are you, Ambleside? There you are. The library here in Ambleside uh, is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is helpful and always shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today, she's grinning ear to ear. Can't wait to show what she's found me. Oh, that's great. I'll take both of these. Gildedendra and Wandering Mew. Fun. <laughs> it's potential. Anyway. Oh, jeez. Gildedendra is poisonous. I will take those anyway. I will still take those. I'll put this down here. To the letters section. Actually, I'll put it in the archive because I found it. I figured it out. Whew, I can use the tags in the drawer to label plants. That's actually, um, that's a very good point, isn't it? <laughs> that's a, that's something I should probably use. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Lawler Skate. Let's go ahead and label this one. It is Lemon Dandy. Oh, no. Let me do it with my, this will be faster. Lemon dandy. I'll keep it yellow. Seems good. And then what was this one? This one was, um, something else. What was the name of it? St. John's Poppy. St. John's Poppy. Great, all right. We got ourselves a label. We got ourselves a label. Sorry, sorry, Faye. I have not been paying attention to anything that you've said. I'm sorry. Yada yada, you can't sleep. Okay. Vivid dreams. Oh, dang. This is scary. Wow. Here's the thing. Um, you can just tell me you need to sleep. That's fine. I don't need to know anything else. Thank you very much. You can keep your spooky dreams to yourself. Thank you very much. Alright. Forest Camphrey. Okay. Dark blue clusters made up of many smaller flowers. Whew. Oh, really? Real Codus, that's extremely helpful, isn't it? 
Wouldn't have known that at all. Very happy about that. That'll make my life a lot easier. Whew. Go back to Forest Camphrey. I didn't I didn't see what it was yet. Go back. Whew. Yeah, we don't really have high intensity biking parameters. Maybe I'll just do it every time I get one right. But that feels like it's gonna kill me. Either way, I'll start right now. Whew! God, my legs are tired today. I am exhausted, but that's okay. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. Okay. Dark blue clusters made up of many smaller flowers. Is this it? It seems like it might be. Yes, strong smelling. Okay. I think that's right. Let's give it a try. Whew. <laughs> Thank you, Rambler. I could I could fix that, but that's all right. There we go. Thanks, Ryan Snurra, for fixing it. <laughs> Thanks, Gold Stars. All right. Okay. <sighs> We've done well. That's another one, baby. I shall collect this new thing of Butterdale. Love to see it. Who's next? Well, let me go explore. I got things to explore. I want to go explore. Hills to the northeast of Backbarrow. Whew, high intensity biking over. Okay. Backbarrow? Where are you? Hello? I'm looking. I'm reading. There's Back Barrow. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. Good thing too, because it took me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over a cloak of unwelcome shade. That's a nice looking plant. It's scary, but it's nice. Dangerous plant for sure. I'm keeping it secret. I will not speak of this to anyone. Nora Butterfield. Got any wandering view? That's always reminds me of, oh, what's his name? That old Herman inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the view, if you got it. I just learned about the view, didn't I? I just learned about that. It's like a little wagon wheel. Oh, the underside of this mushroom. Okay, I see. That's good to know. It must be a mushroom. It glows in the dark. Fingers bane. Let's take a little look at this. I want to see the underside. How do I see the underside? I need to look underneath it to know. Ah, the undersides are somewhat sharp. That must be it. Quite hard and sharp. Hope this is right. Good luck. I would look underneath it, but I don't I don't want to. Thanks, Nate Matthews. All good there. Oh, I finished my day. I can finally rest. Nice. I'm glad that people pay me with book pages. I'm into that. Let me let me go on a, I don't have anything else to look through, so I'm going to end my day. End my day and do a high intensity. Oh. Row H, the third river. It started when she found something, something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Ooh, interesting. Row H, the third river, I shall check for that. Now I've got a will to explore. It's time for me to explore, I think. Whew. That's wildflowers and trees. 
Row H, third river. One, two, three. This is the third one. What's here? Oh, a dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. Oh, I got something new. Scary. Whew. All right, high intensity biking. Done. Done. There we go. Ah. All right, open up shop, I'm ready. Bring them in. Isidore Burbage, bring me a sample of Apis Demesis. And be quick about it, my damn cat is setting off my allergies. Shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. Uh-oh, I don't know about Apis Demesis. Uh-oh, I don't... I don't know about Apis Demesis. A rich man who inherited a fortune but never experienced the love of his parents. He expects people to do his bidding and is quick to anger. There are many in Undermere who would be glad to see the back of him. But with wealth comes power and a few could challenge him to his face. Okay. Okay. Well, sir, I don't know what that is. Hey, Isidore, I got no idea what that is. I can just give you one randomly. Um. Hmm. Let's, I guess, look through these things. Do I just have to look through my, my stuff? Maybe, Rambler, I don't know. All right, they've got a waxy finish. Yeah, apistemesis, things for allergies, maybe? I don't know if I just look through these. Hmm. I got a lot of flowers to look through, so I don't know how to how to do this. Maybe is there something in the in the exploration page that could help me? Is there something called Apis in here? No. There's a place called Killington Lake. I'm sure that's great. Whew. Okay. Whew. Let's look for something else. Let's look for something else that can help you. I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm willing to give it a shot. Okay. There we go, Gandhi root. That's what it's called. We figured it out. Took a moment. The rough leaves, only the petals are safe for consumption. You want this for digestive troubles? I mean, I'll do it, but... If that's what you want, I'll do it. Okay, is it this one? Looks like it's this one. Yeah, leaves are coarse. Have a taste. Gandhi root. Whew. <laughs> Thanks, Rampler. All right, we got something. Meek do. Okay. Mollus fidum. All right, I can explore, but I got nothing to explore right now, so I might as well just keep. Bringing in the customers. Oh, hey, what's up, David Schaefer? <sighs> Lake Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. I will take my mail. Let us take a little look in here. 
There's an old slate mine at Hard Knot that has interesting looking fungi growing in it. Never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the dark, damp dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Yeah, absolutely. Slate mine at Hard Knot. Let's have a little look. Where are you, Hard Knot? Where are you? Why can't I read fast? There it is. Whew! Clavillium! Oh, I need to use my my heart lock stuff. Is this the one that's got the heart shaped leaves? I think I think so. Smooth, waxy leaves. Love lock. Right? It was something like. Yes. I feel like this has to be the one. I don't see anything else that looks similar. I think that's right. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. No! Oh no, my rising dread! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I gotta fix this. Um... Shoot. Okay, is it this one? This one is slightly more heart-shaped. I feel like you- I should- you should have told me that there were flowers on this. You should have told me there were flowers, too. <sighs> Which ones- I mean, those look heart-shaped, but... I really don't know. That's my best option, I think, right now. That's my best option, I think? I don't see anything that has more heart-shaped leaves. I'm gonna give it a try. Hope my dread don't rise again. Phew! Okay, thank goodness. Great. Very good. It's time to do a high-intensity biking for raising my dread. The gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusty hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. Heck yeah! Look at all those cool new mushrooms I got. I love that for me. I love that for me. Time to put you in the archive, baby. I don't need labels out anymore. Now that I'm doing it automatically. Boop. Reuben Ward. This man looks like a, a werewolf. Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Yeah, I sure can try. I'm willing to give it a shot. Fox button. Ooh, high intensity biking over. Okay. Thick, shiny leaves growing in opposing pairs along the stem. Is it this? No, go back. I think it's this one, isn't it? Let's see if, if these leaves are thick and shiny. I think it's that one. I think it's gotta be. It's the best option I got. I was right! Whoo! Exciting! Those suffering from hypothermia. Okay, Brimlock, good to know. Great! Great, great, great! Let's keep it moving! Let's keep it moving! I was able to make out whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's Poppy. Cool, Victoria. There's a medium using the room, illegally I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Uh-oh. Is there a plant you know that could uh, use to give them a scare and drive them away? Hmm. Hmm, interesting. We're doing a little, a little prank. 
You're looking to do a little prank right now, I see. Harlequin Blue. When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with a downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks, widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Ooh, I like that. I'm a fan of that. Okay, bushy blue flowers at the top. What do we have here? Okay, none of these guys. Hmm. Is it you? They might be the bushy blue flowers. It looks like they've been, it's been shown in a cut for it. Okay. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm willing to try it. Hope I don't get any more dread from that. We're good. We survived. Shimmer lung. Ooh, weird. Okay. Fun. Whew. Okay. Still can't explore anywhere else. I mean, I guess, can I just explore for fun? Can I just explore for fun and look around? Because I'm going to give it a try. Give me the Scoffel Pike. Oh yeah, I can just do this. There's nothing here. Yes, it's nice. Believed to be derived from Old Norse Skali Fjall, which translates as the fell with the bald summit. Yeah. All right, yeah, I can just explore for fun, I guess. That's nice. I can just go on a nice little trip. Nice little day trip for my job. I love that. Bethany Coleman! You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May, the Ar may Arduina bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The Sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you to enter to the forest. Be assured of your direct discretion. We require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. Kind of went into a Beatles. Kind of, kind of brought that accent into a Beatles situation. Somewhere between <clears throat> John and Paul, huh? It's a little bit of the, a little Beatles going on, and the sisterhood is just the Beatles. What they don't tell you is that the sisterhood is a sisterhood of fans that love the Beatles. All right, let's get some Mary's breath, baby. I'm ready to see it. Mary's breath. This is a fun game. I'm into this. I love a good puzzle game. I'll probably play more of these games later because I, again, I bought a big pack of them yesterday, so I'm excited to see what else this uh, developer has made. Whew. <laughs> it's, that's true, Rambler. Okay. Wide waxy leaves allow this plant. Oh, wait a second. I already found some waxy leaves. Isn't it this? Smooth waxy leaves, baby. I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. Oh, I did make the same mistake twice. I made the same mistake twice. Oh no. All right, let's do the high intensity biking. Let me read a little bit closer. Just cause some leaves are waxy doesn't mean they're Mary's breath. Okay. Whew. All right, so. Gotta find some wide waxy leaves. These are the widest leaves I can find. The veined leaves have a waxy finish, okay. So that's another option for me. Do I see any other wide leaves? Not really, I think that the, I think it's gotta be this. Okay, phew. Oh, oopsie daisy. 
got a new letter. That's good. Yes. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in Grisdale Forest, a mile from the lake shore, across from Torver. Please help us. All right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going. I'm going, baby. Whew. All right, high intensity biking over. Okay. Torver, across, a mile away, across from Torver. So I'm guessing it's this one. Yes, it's it. It's right. A sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I'm ushered into a walled courtyard and then through a large oak door along a corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement. Lying on the table, draped in silk, is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair, all black as a raven's wing. Do you know who could do this? asks my escort. I set to work. Let's take a look for some wren, shall we? Boop, boop, boop. Ipsum flavus. The long leaves of the wren are known to turn black in the presence of certain poisons, and so can be used to detect them. It has no flower, said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death, and sweet to those who have not. Mmm, interesting. Interesting. I think it's you. There's no flowers. Let's see how it smells. Oh, it has a scent that scratches at the back of my throat. That seems right. I must know death. Whew! Alright, we're good. Plant identified, baby. I extract a sample of the Arda's blood and introduce it to the Wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of the Wren turn black, which can only mean one thing. Gilded dead drop poisoning. Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plants, which I am grateful for. All right, nice. Good, I love, I love some new plants. Love some new plants. These look great. Fantastic. Whew. Okay. Isidore Burbage, I'm this close to reporting you, halfwit. The last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. Yeah, man. Look, you asked for the wrong thing. You asked for the wrong thing, man. Butterdale. Whew. Often found growing in clumps in the valley. Uh, skin rashes, okay. So Butterdale seems like it's a good option. What's Meek do? Am I gonna kill him? <sighs> ah, bear skin results in painful sores, so I will not be giving Meek do. I will be giving Butterdale. Okay. Whew. The dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to form a poultice. Sometimes they smell buttery. Okay. Uh-oh, do I not have this plant? I'm worried that I might not have this plant. This might be it. Buttery scent. Good, we're good. This is it. Enjoy your Butterdale. Whew. Okay. Okay. The dark red fruits. Okay, Storium. Good to know. Time to end my day. I hope that my dread goes down after I take a snooze. Sure would love to have a snooze. New day has ended. A new high intensity shall begin. No, I didn't mean to press that. It's fine. Okay. The both, the book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure. And after studying for some time, 
She reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. Interesting. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Whew. That's where the crinkles live, it's true. In the crinkle crags. All right, God almighty. Oh, I'm pushing hard for this high intensity biking. It is not gonna get any easier. It is rough entirely, consistently. Oh man, I'm just focusing on the high intensity biking right now. Okay, okay, continue. Okay, Whoa. <sighs> finally, congratulations. Oh. Okay, so. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick. Let's at least find Hawkshead first. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick. Where's Lowick? I don't actually know where that is. No, sh show me this again. I need to see this. This is the thing I need to see mostly. West of Rusland, south of the Crinkle Crags. Okay, so, Hawk's Head. Uh-oh. South of the Crinkle Crags. Okay, so it's gotta be somewhere between here. West of Lowick. What is Lowick? I do not see this. East of what? No, close again. Not you right now. Not you right now, I'm looking at something else. East of Lowick, west of Rusland, that's it. Rusland. Where is it? There's Rusland, okay. East of Lowick. So it's gotta be in this section. It's gotta be right here. Yes, good. Found it. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing, a whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face, but only a whisper. He raises his arm, points, I follow his outstretched finger and surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there, hidden from view. Interesting. Exactly, Rambler. Seems right. Aquarius Crinkle has broken his mind beyond all repair. There's no denying that. All right, good. Did my little exploration. I'm ready to open up shop, baby. Wilbur. I'm looking for a plant, um, lady of what's it, something or other. Uh, I'm no green-eyed drayer, that's for sure. My mind isn't at all what it used to be. It's the one where it's supposed to help with uh, mental decline. Lady of summer, let's take a look at you. Okay. Which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature makes this sought after ornamental plant aids with conditions of memory deterioration associated with old age. Okay. Cool, cool. Into it. Let's take a little look. It's got a nice flower. Hmm. Hum, hum. And the curly leaves. Curly leaves? This one. Seems like it's you, isn't it? Yes. Seems right to me. I'm giving it a try. Hope I don't get more dread. Ah, we survived, baby. We survived. Whew. Fantastic. Give me another guy. Give me another guy. Yes, it's my favorite friend, David Schaefer. The art has been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust the sisterhood, but it seemed like to me the art looked out for the less fortunate. Yeah, I got no- I got no qualms with the sisterhood. 
Oh, the cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back our device against it, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Great Gable, here I come. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. I need some Brimlock for sure. Gotta get me some Brimlock. Whew, freezing cold and ready to head home. But I have some Brimlock. Oh, interesting. Warming effect. When conditions are right in the cold of winter, Brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The weaves are waxy and tough. Hmm. Could it be? Could it be this one? Could it be this one? <laughs> The one that I keep trying for every other purpose because it's not cold down here. This is a waxy leaf. Will I finally be able to do this or will it once again trick me? Will I be tricked a thrice time by these waxy waxy leaves? I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, thank God it works this time. Very important. Ah, <sighs> I get some sunset mound trap, and I get this. What's this? Yay! Something. I got something. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's time to put this away, I think. Time to put this away into the archive. Goodbye! Norman Lee. Let's have a little chat. This plant is cursed. It has brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. Give me a cursed plant. I love a cursed plant. I already have one of those, don't I? Oh no, it's something very similar. Something very similar to that. Yes, wandering view. But not quite the same. Good to know. Simone Green. Hellebore, always a pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he hasn't been nibbling on the plants again. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging out information on those plants. Yeah, I've been burning the midnight oil again and could use some common traps. And I know where to find it. According to Grayson's Herbology, it grows in abundance on Red Pike. Come by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business in Sedberg in the meantime. Okay. Great, thank you. Yeah, I'll take that, sure. Sounds good to me. I like that. Whew. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put on a bit of show every now and then. And the punters know what I'm capable of sort of thing. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad. And the little bugger called my bluff. Do I have anything that can turn him into a toad? Ah, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. I can assure you, he deserves to be turned into a toad. Anyway, I think I need a little display. Is uh, needed to discourage this sort of behavior in the future. Got any shimmer lung? Absolutely. You know that I do. Let's talk about shimmer lung. All right, I think it's this one. I saw it before. I was gifted it at some point. Where did you go? Where did you go, Shimalang? Oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost it. Where are you? This one. Yes. Perfect. Enjoy. Good. 
Good, good, good. Nice, got a new thing. Fantastic. I can explore, but I'm saving it. Irving Harris. Sorry if I'm shouting. I'm a little hard of hearing. I'm looking for a plant that can supposedly help me hear better, but I've forgotten what it's called. I remember it's bright red, though. Hmm. I already did this, didn't I? It's St. John's Poppy, right? That's the thing that makes you hear better? Let me double check. Hearing ability, yes. Here you are. Enjoy. All good. Phew. Oh, fantastic. We're absolutely crushing it right now. I'll just go to sleep. Do a final high intensity biking for the day. Oh, it's got a chip in it. Weird. Time passed, a year, then another. The book remained hidden, but out of sight did not mean out of mind. The book was what her thoughts settled on when she rested, what she brooded over when she did her chores, <clears throat> what she pictured when she dreamed. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Huh, I wonder if I can find something that looks like this cutout on the map. I wonder. You know what I should do? I should open this up. Let me let me move this to some sides so that way I can actually put this on top of it. Can I do this? Yes. Can I use this to like figure out a space where this could be? Okay, congratulations. Whew. I don't know. I sure would like it to be the case, but I haven't found anything that looks exactly like this. It is a tear from a book, so maybe it's not supposed to be perfect, but... Huh. Hmm. Is it this? Is it over here? Is it next to the... Is it this? It's this. It's this, isn't it? It's that. So I've got to go to right here, this place. One west of the whatever. One west of the black comber or something. Please tell me I'm right. Yes, <laughs> I'm right. Fantastic. Whew. The gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight scattered. Clouds, a reset, beautiful. I got new plants, I got some new plants, yeah. All right, folks, I'm gonna pause here and do some pull-ups, some Friday pull-ups. Woo! Let me go ahead and quit, so that way I'm not making loud noises as I'm doing this. Perfect. All right, okay, I'm here. Ready to do some pull-ups on a Friday. Oh man, I can already tell this is gonna go poorly. I'm still doing red band pull-ups, right? I did 10 last time. Folks, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do more than that today, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three, whew, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm getting worse. I'm getting worse, folks. I need to commit harder to this. I need to go to an actual gym. Nine, ten, oh, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's enough for me. I can't do any more than that today. I accept that fact. I'm not in a good spot. I gotta, I gotta work out harder. I'm letting myself slip. I was doing so good before. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. I'll try my best to do some pull or some chin-ups now. We'll see. 
Who could say? One, two, three, four. One more. Five. Phew. Okay. Twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even think I could do the final pull ups today. This is bad. I gotta do something. I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and put my, my, my sad 12 in here for three. What is it? 23? 24? That's fine. Oh man. That's good enough. Folks, I will catch you on Monday. I hope you have a lovely weekend. This is a very fun game. I'm probably going to keep playing it just to uh, continue on with my little plant puzzles. It's fun. I'll see y'all soon. Have a good one. Goodbye!